probably misspelled something. No, I didn't. There we go. Lion's Eye Diamond. Lion's Eye Diamond. So Crack the Earth is an option. Curse of the Cabal is an option. It's not a good option though. Plus Nicol Bolas to do it. Definitely the big one. Little queller. Yeah, there just isn't really a good way to, to sacrifice the enchantment. See what I can dig up. Or a hedge mage. That's an option. Oh, Esper Charm. Duh. Well, no. 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 You'd be better off probably just. Yeah. I got it. I just wanted. <laughs> Jeez. <sighs> this card is sweet, though. is sweet, but it's too much better. There you go, filigree fracture. Destroy an artifact or enchantment if it was blue or black draw card. And hatching plans is blue. There you go. That's still a lot of mana. Golgari Charm. Those are two relevant modes. So it could destroy the Hatchy Plants or it could give all creatures minus one, minus one. Harmonic Sliver. I like this idea though. So that would be four cards. You would draw four cards for that interaction if you use Filigree Fracture. A lot of cards.
Now, something with hatching plans. Magic of the disc, that is interesting. Oh, mortify. Yeah. Destroy a creature or an enchantment. Mortify. Claim. Hmm. Oh, that's clever. That could that one could actually work. I see a couple different deck ideas. I do love Esper as a color combination. Yeah, Crack the Earth is sweet. Yeah, I mean Crack is awesome. It's it's when when coupled with Hatchy Plants, it's probably one of the stronger interactions you can have. I was just trying. We've we've built that before, though. Starfield of Nyx, another sack out. Let's crack it every turn. Cause I like Pride Mage is the way to do it. Brave Revelation. This might be too deep. Sultai Charm. Solid because I'm I'm destroying I'm destroying the hatching plants, but I'm also gaining four life when I do that. That seems like a very strong interaction. Like if you put nature's claim together with hatching plants, that's blue, green, colorless. Draw three cards, gain four life. It's kind of like a mini Sphinx's revelation. Revelation. I think a mini Sphinx's revelation might be powerful enough. Think about it seriously, like this plus this is how much of this? Hang on, let's do the math. Let's think about it. So how much mana do I have to spend on this Sphinx before it does exactly what these two cards together do? Compulsive research is better, says Tempact. And that's when we sacrifice a permanent. Mm. 
No, 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 you're, you're thinking of, um... There's a draw spell that does it, Temp Act. Yes, I'm familiar. What's up, Boto Gamer? It's perilous research. It's perilous. Three mana, two cards. Four life, one card. You play liquid metal coating. You do the same with healing hands and draw two. It's this temp pack. I mean, the nature's claim still might be a sideboard, but the fact that they're... Like, again, let's just run the numbers. I wasn't saying it was pure card advantage, Big B, it's not. Because Rev is, you know... But let's just do, let's just compare mana costs. So, let's think about it. So you have plans, and you nature's claim it. You're doing the same amount of life gain as a 7 mana Sphinx's Revelation. You're only drawing one fewer card. Simplify. Yeah, I think this should be a sideboard card. I'm down. Maybe like a Miser's one in the main so you hedge a little bit against Affinity. Maybe a couple other decks in the format. And then you can have, like, actual... Um, you could have some actual affinity hate, like a couple of Ancient Grudge. You don't have to be green. You could be white. Run some Shatterstorm. Within. A beast within is pretty pricey on Moto, but that's a clever idea, Flop. You get a 3 3. Flagstones gives us more than just like we would have eight things that want to be sacrificed, right? We would have eight things that want to be sacrificed, not just the hatching plans. So this is probably like a young pyromancer deck. doesn't uh, sacrifice like we want it to. 